YouTube. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Polaroid pack cameras, specifically about the Polaroid 100 camera, you know, which be very very similar within the range, the 100, 200, 104, 250, and so forth, so so on. Well, these cameras, um, especially the 100, it's about 900, uh, 1963. Sorry, uh, they're all metal construction, and they have a foldable rangefinder, as you see. This is the model 100. It's uh, it's the first of its class, right? It's a very nifty, nifty camera. It takes amazingly sharp pictures more than you would think so. And compared to other Polaroids, it's, it's a very, very, very high quality camera. This used to come with, uh, especially this model, which was the Polaroid 268 flash that used um, what's called M3 clear light bulbs. So basically what you would do is put the flash in right and then it will never explode and that's how the light came out right. They mount on the body like this. Well, what's, uh, what's cool about this camera is that, contrary to perception, is that you can still buy film for them. So, they don't use integral film, uh, nothing that's made by the possible project. And uh, they use film that's FP, made by Fuji, like the FP3000B. Uh, there's one, uh, FP100C, uh, B, sorry. Uh, that used to be made black and white. This is 3,000 speed, which this camera supports, and still be manufactured. An FP100C, which is the same in color, and even though the camera has a setting for um, 75 ISO, and this being a 100, it's so the difference so minuscule that it really doesn't matter. Okay. What you gotta make sure if you acquire one of these cameras is that the battery compartment it's, it's clean. You can either buy the battery or make a conversion uh, for so and about making a double A's, a triple A's. So sorry. And this is not a video about that, and I'm gonna point to try to point you a link in the video about it, right? Make sure that if you ever buy film for it, this is about like eight dollars a pack. Don't confuse it with like FP one hundred C forty five, which is a lot larger and a lot expensier, and it's for four by five cameras. And the, the same with the black and white. There's a forty five uh, version that is for uh, four by five cameras. So make sure you buy the correct one. Okay, so. A good tip when you buy one of these cameras, make sure there's a lot of people test it on eBay and they don't know better. And they say the camera fires and it's not it's not through because they click the shutter and they hear one click. That doesn't mean the camera has fire and there's have to be power to the camera to be able to fire. Doesn't have film on it, right? I'm gonna hear. You hear you heard the second click, right? That's a complete cycle of the shutter that tells you this camera probably is right. And I know it's it's in good working order, but that's one of the tests you can do. You can uh, you can close the electric eye, and if it enough time passes, once you open it, it should it should re remain open until you expose it. But <coughs> a lot of these cameras are in uh, decent shape when you find them. But they're very expensive. This is around like a hundred dollars on eBay or more. So, um, how you gonna load film? And a couple of tips I'm gonna do in the next video. And this was just an overview of the camera. Make it short. Thank you.